Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to set up JWT token in Laravel application. Why and when we need JWT token? When you develop a single page application using front end frameworks like React, Angular, that time you need API. So you develop REST APIs and you need to make it protected and only those person access who has a login and authenticated so you can make a REST API is protected using JWT token so let's take one example so you can easily understand it I have created um, categories APIs and right now categories APIs are public so let's start server first and I show you so server is started let's make one call of category right now this API is public and you can see here let's open route file and you can see here no any middleware set right now this API is accessed by anyone so I want to make this routes are protected so let's integrate JWT token here is the official package of JWT auth so let's install in this application so let's stop this server and fire composer require time on JWT auth so package is installed let's take next step add service provider uh, we no need to add service provider because we are using Laravel 7 and Laravel 7 has a uh, auto discovery so no need to add this service provider in provider array so let's skip it and next step is publish the config so we need to publish JWT config file using this command PSP partition vendor colon publish dash dash provider and time on JWT providers and Laravel service provider. So let's fire this command in console and generate JWT file. You can see here inside config directory config dot php to config JWT dot php generated. So let's open in editor and let's check JWT config file. secret the key will be used to sign your token when your token is created and when you send this token in api at the time use this secret to validate the token and other more configuration given here you can set it based on your requirement TTL means time token time to live it means uh, default 60 minutes so when token is created it's uh, valid for 60 minutes you can set it uh, here default value also and change it or you can specify this variable in environment file so let's open in file and you can set it here and change the default value 62 1 so now token is valid for 120 minutes instead of 60 minutes so you can set it here let's open JWT again
so here is algorithm of hashing you can change it if you need to change so here is a one more setting is JWT blacklist enable if you can set it false then you cannot invalidate the token and not add in blacklist so this is not a secure way that's why default given true but if you want then you can set it false so you can configure it based on your requirement let's take next step you can generate secret given first option in this config file JWT secret JWT secret you can generate it using this command so let's generate PSP artisan JWT colon secret and you can see here in environment file JWT secret append and generate it so basic installation step is done but you need to configure something like user model and auth guard so let's do it we need to add this JWT subject interface into user model so let's edit open user model and add here and do not forget to add this your statement in user dot php file also you need to add two methods in user model so let's edit here now next step is we need to configure auth guard so let's open auth.php file and configure it by default guard is web we need to set it api based on documentation and also we need to set driver token to jwt because laravel by default provides token so we need to specify here jwt so auth guard configuration is done now all thing is configured and we can create a login and logout APIs by default given here so we can use it directly and copy this from here and edit api.php routes so we can save our time you can see here four methods there login logout refresh and me but we need auth controller so let's create it PSP artisan make controller and specify controller name is auth controller so auth controller is created inside control directory and you can see here now I going to move this control inside API because I set up infium generator and infium generator by default use API namespace because it's configured here you can see here it's configured here so I move to API namespace because given here API namespace so I move if you are not using npm generator then no need to move also I need to add namespace for controller because I move 
this controller from main directory so let's specify namespace here for controller you can also extend base controller a base controller of which is provided by infium generator but it is fine if you using controller then no problem now you can see here auth controller given in documentation with all basic methods so I going to use so let's copy it from the documentation and just paste here so login and logout APIs ready you can see here so let's try to login but we need to start server first so let's start it php addition so so server is started but i think we missed something we need to specify namespace of this controller because now this controller inside in API directory so do not forget to change the namespace if you move this controller inside any directory so let's try to login we need to specify here specify auth and login I specified auth because in this route you can see here prefix added auth that's why I specified auth in route and method is post and specify body here because we need to pass email and password so pass here email and password email is smail at the rate gmail dot com and password is and let's make a call and you can see here token is generated token type is barrier and expire time 120 minutes because I set here in the file let's make it 60 minute and make a call and you can see here now expire time of this token is decrease so you can configure it based on your requirement and next step is we need to make this API is protected and you can see here documentation wiki given here and you can find some middlewares provided by this token by default and you can found it here so we need to register this token in kernel in routes middleware so let's register it first and you can see here one area of route middleware and just this both middleware here and we need to specify middleware in this API so let's specify middleware and now we need to specify this name in this middleware so this API is now protected if we call this API without token then we cannot get any response so let's check it let's open and try to access this API again because we said that middleware and you can see here we got error token is not provided 
so we need to specify token here and select barrier token and specify this token in this section and make a call again and you can see here now with this token API is accessed so this category is all APIs is now protected so let's check other APIs provided by this package let's try to access this me method specify post here and specify auth and me let's make a call and you can see here logged in users detail given by this api using me method same thing you can log out using this token so let's specify log out here and make a call and you can see here the message successfully logged down so now you cannot use this token for accessing the api so let's try and try with this token we specified here and i try to make again call and we got error this token has been blacklist because in environment in jwt.php blacklist token is unable that's why this token is invalidate using logout api so you can easily integrate it and jwt installation is a very simple and easily set up it also lots of thing given by this package mm, exception handling and other things so you can see it in this wiki and documentation also given here it's also provide a multi guard and one more thing is we change in auth.php guard is web to api but if you want to use web by default because your project have a front end also and you develop api for mobile application and you need web guard then you can use it just you need to make some change in auth controller and you need to specify here api in response with token so you can use it guard like you just need to specify api in auth functions feel free to ask question and give your feedback in comment box please like share a video and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching the video